Uba Regnason. You are a long way from your king's sight. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. Adagnus followed your brother, one I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kissed. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. wishes to speak with you. He is quite agitated. Has something happened? You will want to speak to him yourself. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more, on my final voyage back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Good to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We'll leave now, and return as soon as we're able. Good. And be safe. Both of you. Shall we then, Eivor? To Norway, and well beyond. To Norway, then. Good, good! Lead on! Decades we spent here, brother. It's bloody cold. 
colder than I remember. Hold on, good scout. This is Harold's fair hair's kingdom now. Every peak and fjord. Pains me to say it. To think it even. And our father, his fool. Poor man. It is a role he chose. He bent easily and broke in half. Do not pity him. No. For many moons I could not sleep, always thinking of his betrayal. The horrors I wished upon him. He deserves nothing but shame now. Put it out of your mind, Sigurd. There's no need to hound the old man. No. He must taste the same foulness that I taste. He must know what glory he missed by staying here, the lapdog of a conqueror. You want to speak with him? Yes. Face to face. I will tell him the truth. Starts. It thrives. In spite of our father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what needs to be said. Do you fear his rebuke? Oh, no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. Or it may be you'll light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. My eyes soon. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll search the mead halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hall where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. We come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them. Without care. You are chipper, brother. Go, Sunan. That poor soaker, he never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his hole. Once, just. We should go. Look at him. Father. Sigurd? My son, Eivor! By Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stuff. both! That is far enough. Blood of cheer! What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood! We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? 
Make new war against King Harrow? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? Interest you? You robbed me of my wealth when you left for England. I presume you would do it again. Not my idea. You left us with nothing when you pledged for King Harald. We took only what we deserved. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. There was nothing sensible about your betrayal. Sigurd should have been king. You robbed him of that. Who did I betray? A son who was never home? A selfish boy with no sense of leadership? An arrogant You strangle? lie! I have led numberless men into battle and countless ships and raids across all the known world. You talk of kingship as if it were a matter of counting the notches on your axe. But to lead means so much more. I passed my crown to Harald because he was a man who understood the challenge put before him. Unlike you. You pathetic word! Sigurd. This is not why we came. Plans change. As do hearts. Not this one. And you, Eivor? You should have told us of your plan to bend the knee to Harald. ...and spared me the shame of seeing my father debase himself like a gutted pig. You are right. I owed you the truth, and for that I am sorry. But I will not apologize for what I did. Then I have nothing left to say to you. My son, please! You have spoken your words, and Sigurd has heard them. What happened to my son? What turmoil did he see that took his arm and darkened his mood? He saw his father for what he truly was. A coward who faced his enemies with more honesty than he did his family. I was a father to you, Eivor. I have no father. This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores. To my true purpose. To my destiny. To the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. If you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them. How present they are, like memories of yesterday. Describe them for me, your visions. My earliest was of a large door embedded in ice, far north of Hördafilke. The saga stone embedded at the top of its arch. As the visions grew stronger, the door opened, revealing many things. The life tree Yggdrasil, the golden fields of Valhalla, and the faces of our gods. All of whom called me friend, brother, warrior. I felt at home among them. 
warmed by their love. You should know. You're not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. Valka warned me of a great betrayal, but what form it takes I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oaths, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Man your oars. Sail! Sail! The, wind. the daughters of Aye bless our passage. Yes, we feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the Elf King, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Guthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he'll push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant to me. But we've gained so much in England. We stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy foes. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful field. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful, I am almost grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Yet, with every snap of the flame, with every scar, the loss of my arm, my visions grew stronger. You can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him. And no one believed us when we were young, and we chiseled our plants onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the Sigurd I know of. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I am with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! You know the way! As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To perish! Here! 